So our city is a city that learns. It uses the data, the information, the citizens' opinions, and it uses that to learn how to deliver better services, make life better, whether it's lighting or power in buildings or water or education or tourism. So it's a city that learns. Second, it's a city that's got sensors and information being fed into the cloud, and the cloud then uses this information and city leaders and citizens use this information to understand what's going on in this city and how can we make it operate better. But you want to talk about practical things, it means buses that run on time, it means traffic lights which let traffic flow faster, it means education where young kids can learn on a smartphone after school so they double their learning. It's a place where when a tourist comes to town and they look at the great features of the town, the parks or the buildings or the monuments, they can get out their smartphone and there's a picture of how this monument looked when it was being built or how this cathedral looked that it was half built. This is an exciting way to make tourists say, wow, I really want to be in this city. And then finally, it's a, it's a city where uh, people learn to innovate, where they learn to use information to create new jobs, where young people say, I can take the data of the city and give you a better way to find out if uh, traffic is going to be congested or whether the subways are on time. It's a great new way to operate cities and it's most likely going to cost less and provide better services for everybody in the city. India is committed to uh, 100 smart cities. This is an ambitious goal. It matches China's goal of 100 cities. And in India, you have these great opportunities, the Mumbai-Delhi corridor, with cities which, uh, under uh, some leaders' of view, will have 85% uh, rail and only 5 to 10 to 15% of walking and biking. No cars. These cities don't exist, so we're going to invent new cities. So uh, it's going to be a powerful way for cities to be better. Minister Naidu is committed to uh, understanding what's going on in the world. He came to Barcelona, I had lunch with him to discuss the very things we were talking about, about what a smart city could be, because he's learning. He's been to, where else, Singapore, he's been to uh, South Korea, seen Sangdu. So he's seen some of the best examples of brilliant smart cities in the world, and he's going to bring that information, is bringing that information back to India so that it begins to be used here.